Metric prefixes, what they are, how they're used, how to convert to a metric prefix, and how to convert from a metric prefix back to the base value. Metric prefixes represent each of the most commonly used powers of 10 in engineering notation. They are only used with numbers that have a unit of measure including those listed below. The prefixes listed here help you express numbers that are above a thousand or below one in a more comfortable format. Nobody really wants to hear you say that you have 0 0.000001 amps running through your circuit. They would rather just hear you say that your current is one microamp. To convert from a base unit to a prefix, we take the base unit and divide it by the factor of the prefix that we want. For example, to convert 0 0.453 amps to milliamps, we take 0 0.453, divide it by 10 to the negative third, which is the factor for milliamps, and we come up with 453 milliamps. To convert 32,450 grams to kilograms, we take 32,450 divided by 10 cubed, which is the factor for kilo, and we come up with 32.450 kilograms. Pause the video and try converting these values to the prefixes specified. Pause the video again to see the answers and how we got them. To convert from a prefix back to the base unit, we take the value and we multiply it by the factor of the prefix that we are converting from. For example, to convert 213.5 milliamps back to amps, we take 213.5 times 10 to the negative third, which is the factor for milliamps, and we come up with 0 0.2135 amps. Let's try another one. To convert 16.28 kilometers to meters, take 16.28 times 10 cubed, which is the factor for kilo, and you come up with 16,000 280 meters. If you pronounced kilometers as kilometers, pause the video and please go wash your mouth out with soap. Thank you. <laughs> pause the video now and try converting these values back to the base unit. Pause the video again to see the answers and how they were arrived at. Now the fun part, converting from one prefix to another. To achieve this, we take our value, we multiply it by the factor of the prefix that we are converting from and dividing it by the factor of the prefix we are converting to. For example, to convert 452.9 milliamps to microamps, we take 452.9, we multiply it by 10 to the power of negative 3, which is the factor for milli, and we divide it by 10 to the power of negative 6, which is the factor for micro, and our answer is 452,900 microamps. Another example, let's convert 1.28 kilometers to centimeters. We take 1.28, we multiply it by 10 to the power of 3, the factor for kilometers, and we divide it by 10 to the power of negative 2, which is the factor for centi, and we come up with 128,000 centimeters. 
pause the video and try these questions to convert from one prefix to another. Pause the video again to review the answers. How do you know which prefix to use? Well, sometimes the unit that you're using has a standard prefix regardless of the quantity. An example of that is kilograms. Another way to tell is if your value is less than one or greater than a thousand, you should consider another prefix. We have a couple of examples here. There are many calculators on the market that deal with metric prefixes with the data entry and with the answer display. If you're out for dinner one night and the person you're with asks you, do you know how many liters are in 500 milliliters? You can look them straight in the eye and say, as a matter of fact, I do. Thank you for watching.